Hi guys, and welcome to your March 2021. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Capricorn. I have tried to approach this reading three different times, and there's been three different interruptions. Hopefully, the third time is the charm. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam, say hello to my members. We're finally about to get into it. This is that reading that that reading series that you voted on when I had posed this to you guys about three months ago, asking what you wanted to see and gave you several options. Um, this is a you versus them reading where we get both sides of the story after I meditate off camera um, and kind of tap into what you may be experiencing right now individually and how both of you guys feel about it collectively, whatever. So um, I just want to let you know that um, I am calling the both of the sides divine, feminine and masculine. And I am reintroducing you to the reading um, right now, because going forward, I will not be giving you any um, little, you know, setting it up because, you know, at this point, it's, it's, there's, a, there's not going to be a need to do it. So I'm just doing that now. And as you're going to start to see them, I'm not going to be telling you how it works. So hopefully people pay attention. It is going, it is designed to be given to you twice a month, wedged in between week one and week two from the first through the 15th at the top of the month and wedged between week three and week four um, from the 15th to the 30th at the bottom of the month. That was my genius idea. So you have something every single month in, in between. So um, right now we're going to be dealing with Capricorn. Um, all signs have masculine and feminine energy as a sign in Capricorn. <laughs> you are feminine. <laughs> okay. So Capricorn, we're going to be starting out with the divine feminine side, but first I'm going to show you the card and this is the observer. Okay. This particular energy to me reads as you guys are really paying attention to one another from a distance, possibly. I'm going to read the exact um, 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 the blurb for you so you can understand. But when we're talking about the card of 49, and that is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. OK, and that means that when we reduce that 13 down to a whole number, we know that one plus three is four. So you are observing each other from a distance because you're trying to possibly change your perspective. Right now, you're in a you're and you're looking at at both sides from a standpoint of do I want to do this? Um, obviously, if you're trying to change your protect your your perspective, um, there's been some things that has happened between you guys in the past <laughs> that have made you like, uh, uh, this is not going to work. And it, you know, when you're trying to change your perspective, let's just be real, caps. Um, you know, it's hard for a person to change their perspective because they've got their feelings too wrapped up in it. Okay. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up, and often you hear one thing. When a person says another, it can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Time out before take time out before you react. It's likely that the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a, a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now to cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself and others in this landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. So let's get into this. So you guys are observing one another. There's been many, many, many a uh, disagreement, many a disagreement, many. And there has been things that have gotten in the way. It's really interesting that this card came out today because um, if you guys know anything about me personally, if I've shared anything in my personal readings with you guys in our one-on-one -on -one sessions, um, I always say that the biggest issue or the biggest problem as an earth sign woman, especially emoting as a earth sign, as a Capricorn moon is miscommunications, you know, and I've told you guys, if you are great at the coin, then your cup is going to suck. And if you are good at the cup, 
then the coin may be lacking. So it's about coming together and having a balance. You got so many things that are trying to come out right now. Oh my God. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this. Divine Feminine is coming up with the Ace of Wands, which is a good sign for this, a good sign that you are a little bit more open now to kind of taking a step back and observing and trying to figure out what the hell is going on or uh, what has happened. I already know this top, this right here, the top and the bottom, I'm not even ready, uh, Capricorn, to be dealing with you, you guys today. Just like that Libra video, y'all, I'm telling you. So, um... You are in a good state of mind right now to introduce the passion, to reintroduce and go back into your your passion is slowly possibly coming back from this situation. You've hit some type of rock bottom and that's why you guys are in the observer type of energy. Um, then we're talking about the energy of judgment here. Um, and then we are talking about the energy of the eight of cups. Interesting, interesting. At the top of the deck, you are coming in with the Eight of Swords. I know that right now you are possibly living in some type of mental fear. And the mental fear has nothing to do with the fact that you're afraid. You're not afraid of anything. You're fearless. However, when it comes down to your emotions, they have failed you before, possibly, Divine Feminines, and you have gotten to a place right now you're going undergoing a change where you are being, um, um, you. It, it's like an absolution. You are going through judgment right now, which is an excellent, excellent energy in this observer energy. Do you understand? Because you're open to kind of understanding what makes Capricorn tick, and you can't do that when you have someone constantly hurting your feelings or in an energy of you did this and you did that and you guys are pointing the finger. So it seems like you guys are possibly in a situation now in order for you to even be here too. I also feel like there's been a lot of miscommunication. There's been things in the past. And a lot of times when you get in this energy, it's because your feelings have been ele um, elevated. So you wouldn't care about trying to change yourself if you didn't love the person, okay? Let's stop for a second and get into, I'm going to come back, obviously, but let's get into the divine masculine side of things and find out how the masculines are feeling. Show me what they're feeling because, you know, feminines, you, you do, it's been, you have two eights in your energy, so I know that it's been a power struggle. It's been a struggle of letting go of the things that have happened in the past and putting to rest all of those things that came out wrong that hurt your feelings. Masculines is in an energy of the six of pentacles. I like that. So they just want to balance the scales now. <clears throat> They're coming in with an energy of understanding that things have been a little off. I appreciate them for doing that. Um, we do have six of swords. They're coming in in an energy two sixes. So they're making the choice to come out of the coal. Uh, they want to come out of the coal. And it looks like they're open as well. And then we have the knight of swords. So I know that this person doesn't know how to speak. I'm coming in and I'm looking at this knight of swords. Yeah. And then we do have the four of swords. So the masculines right now are taking a mental break. And this, again, is an energy of quietly preparing. This is an energy of maybe definitely going within, aha, uh -huh. definitely going within and figuring things out. Sword heavy on this side, which means that they're influenced by words as well. And when a person that is sword heavy, like you have one, they have three. So you could be connecting Capricorn with someone who has air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And if that's the case, you have to understand a sword heavy person is going to not hesitate using that sword against you when they are attacked or feeling attacked. On your end, um, you want to walk away from things that no longer serve you. You guys went and hit a rock bottom at some point, and now... You are in a energy of finding out what makes yourself tick, understanding where you fall short on both sides. Feminines is holding on 
and can't let go of things that have happened and holding their self in a mental prison um, because of these things, these swords, these daggers that have been flown at them, thrown at them that from the masculines that they didn't even mean. And the mas masculines are going through a moment where they don't like the uncomfortable feeling of being in the doghouse constantly. They want to balance the pinnacles. You guys have a really good foundation, but you need four more pinnacles on there to reach your 10. And then you need to get through the rest of the process to get to your ace. So right now they are in an energy where they're thinking about the stuff that comes out of their mouth and they're quietly preparing and contemplating. They're in heavy introspection, which is exactly what you guys should be in this energy. So I'm liking that you guys are definitely dealing with this in your own way. I'm going to let you know, though, that they are coming in saying, I know I don't say stuff right. This Knight of Swords lacks the tact that it takes sometimes. He can be brash. He can just, stuff can just blurt out. And that is the reason why this side is sword heavy. Let's go back to masculines and find out some other things. Ooh. So the stork. Now, for some of you guys, this is a baby. But for others of you guys, this is just manifesting newness. This is the new cycle that is coming in. You guys just came off of this. You just came off of the new cycle. You just hit rock bottom. This is the energy after. Aha. Uh -huh. And they feel like, yeah, you have created competition between them. That has been so... That comes out every earth sign reading. Um, and that's what ends up happening. But you feel like um, they they view you guys as relationship or they have viewed this relationship as a competition. And this could have been some of the things that they dealt with. When it looks like you're winning, they'll just say something just to make themselves feel better. It's just, it's not good. They're thinking about it though. And also, yeah, they felt like the feminines is feeling like masculine that you've, you're you playing the field, that you've played some games. Um, and they're afraid to open up. They feel as if there are some things that you may be still seeing other people or being a player or maybe be playing games with the way that you speak. It's hard for the divine feminines to take you seriously because they are obviously a earth sign. And there are certain behaviors that is conducive for a person who takes a relationship very seriously. So I'm here to tell you divine feminines, if you, uh, if, if this is your energy, this person has, they, they, they are not seeing other people They're The way that they speak though, they always come off like they have other options, but they don't. You'll be surprised at where this is about to go. Um, that's how you per you're perceiving them, okay? Let's go ahead and go on the masculine side and find out, you know, some of the things that they're saying about you, feminines. So they're not. According to this energy, they're not. They just, their mouth is their defense mechanism. And when they feel like their back is up against the wall, they tend to say a bunch of sh that they don't mean. Yes. So... There has been with this blast from the past card, I feel like there could, there could be two situations here. If this is specific to a person, especially since the feminines got that play in the field card, there could have been someone that have come back from the past. They feel like you mistake things, but they feel like maybe the way in which they are operating, that it puts you on the defensive Capricorn or um, divine feminines because of, of stuff from your past. You're protecting yourself and being harder on them because of the energy from the person in the past that you could have tried to do the exact same thing with and it fell apart. So just like what most people will do, you will go into the situation and you'll be like, okay, well, this, this, and this has to change because this happened in, with such and such from the past and I'm not going this time. Just like most earth signs because you have, an, you, you have a way of looking at things, Capricorn, or if you are resonating with the feminine side. 
in a way where as an earth sign, if it happened once, it's never going to happen again, period. <laughs> like, uh-uh, I ain't going to ex ever experience that type of pain again. And what, and what this person is saying is that I'm not that person. I know that me and that other individual could have had the same things that we could have done, but we're different, okay? We're different. And I don't say everything right, but I'm not I'm not him or I'm not her. Yeah. And they feel like when this happens, then you play you you don't play fair. That that's when you hit below the belt and you get dangerous and you you go out of your way, feminines, to uh, to play games and, and go below the belt to prove your point. Mischievous, naughty, harmful. Yeah, that's what they feel. But they want to take a chance on it. And they want you to take a chance on it. They want you to go for it. They want you to stop living in the past and really take a chance on them. All right. Let's go back to feminines and find out what happened in the past. <laughs> well, what happened in the past, feminines, is that you fell in love. And when your feelings ele uh, elevated, stuff got a little thick. And that's what normally happens. What happens is, is that we don't want to get hurt. We don't want to get hurt. We don't want to have that energy where we're hurt and thinking about things and replaying things over and over and over again. So in the past, you were in the energy of the Ace of Cups. And when you fell in love, there were certain things that masculine did. It didn't make you feel comfortable. You didn't feel like you guys were on the same page. Let's find out what they felt. Aha. Uh -huh. They were changing. They were right where you were. They were, this is a, this hair font is beautiful energy to, to definitely compensate your ace of cups. And so this lets me know right now that you guys are fighting the same fight. You guys are right where you need to be. Feminines, you're going through a bit of a change right now because the feelings that have been hurt from the daggers that have been thrown from this side, you're still in an energy where right now you're like, you don't want to be hurt. So you're operating out of that. This observer observer energy is perfect for what you guys are experiencing right now. The divine masculine, on the other hand, does not want the tension. They're understanding that they don't say things correct, but they are in an extremely um, introspective type of energy right now where they want to balance out the, the, the scales. You have two sixes. Sixes is about choices. Okay. Um, but they're also about, I'm sorry, sevens is about choices, sixes is about triumph. So they really want to be happy. They want to be successful over here. They want to be able to be themselves, but they also want to be able to balance out the energy here and not make you unhappy or uncomfortable. And they're trying to figure out a way to do that. That four of swords is exactly where you need them to be because you guys have to come up with a resolution for your individual energy that you bring to the table on your own. And then over here on this side, you have two eights. And your, your biggest problem on the feminine side is that eights is about movement. You're really in the should I stay, should I go? Do I have the strength to let go of all of this energy that this eight of cups, um, um, the eight of cups, um, brings to the table and focus on those cups that remain and continue to build in this? Or do I mentally shut down and I overthink it so much where I think myself right out of it? That's where you guys are. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. This was beautiful. I'm happy that you guys are on the same page. And when you're doing it from a distance, like it said, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not together. It really feels like, you know, this is what you want in a relationship. You want to be able to take your hurt and still love 
to the point where you can balance out things because it's about give and take. It's not just about giving and it's just not about taking. And sometimes that get lost, that gets lost in the shuffle because you are a very much so acts of service type of person, Capricorn. So you want to show your love based upon the things that you do. But this individual who is actually on the same page as you just does it a little bit different. They're open. They're ready. It's go mode for them. You're still a little unsure, so take all of the time that you need. I'm sending you that praying hand. Hope that by the time the end of the month comes, we have different energy. And um, hope you enjoy your what aren't they telling you that's going to be coming in the next couple of days. Bye, Capricorn.